I feel like I'm trapped. Jeez. Thank you for coming back to my channel. You are obviously gluttons for punishment because this is mediocre at best. What a shitty way to promote your videos. All right, let's just get right into this one. There are three things that I wanted to do in today's video. One is I want to let you know that now you can not only call in and leave a voice message, but you can also text. You can text the hate line and it'll come right to my phone. Right here. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. If you text the hate line, I get it right here. Dumb, stupid idea, stupid idea. But feel free to uh, text in. If you've always wanted to make fun of me, but you were afraid to actually call in and leave an actual voice message, you can now just text me. And the hate line is 833-246-HATE or 833-246-4283. You can call and leave a voice message or you can text. That's one thing I wanted to get done in this video. The second thing is that a very nice young man, so I assumed, didn't want to call in and leave a voice message and didn't know that he could call in and text, so he graciously made a video reacting to one of my videos. And the reason I think it's extra cool and extra special is because he did it all in sign language. So we're gonna take a look at his reaction video and we're also gonna take a much closer look at one of my silicone masks. I really briefly kind of glossed over that I had these things and that they're really cool, but if you can't actually see them in person to appreciate them, um, which is the best way, then at least maybe I can give you a close up and I can try one on for you and show you why they're completely cool and why they're worth all the money that I paid for them. Uh, so let's get those three things done in this video. So the first thing I guess is already done. Text in, roast me, send me jokes, give me criticisms, give me ideas, whatever you want. Text the hate line, 246 hate. 833-246-HATE. I'll make sure I shut my phone off at night though. No sexting me at three in the morning. You sick bastards. Do what you want, I don't care. All right, so this nice young man watched my video and I obviously don't speak sign language. Not obviously, you have no idea whether or not I speak sign language. Well, I don't speak sign language. I don't understand any of it. I think I can do the alphabet. That's about it. A, B, C, D, E. That's about all I can do. So I'm gonna guess what this young man is saying. I'm guessing that he loves the channel, first off. And that he thinks spiders are amazing, obvious. He loves my beard, hmm, that's probably what he's saying. He wishes I would do a lot more videos because his life is incomplete without me in it. I'm pretty sure that's what he's saying here. Can't tell though. Totally undateable, more like the most dateable person on the planet. Pretty sure that's what he's saying. Maybe not. I, we'll turn on the captions and we'll actually see what he's saying. Well, it's already not starting out very well. Reflecting on what crap I will be encountering. Real nice. Okay, well, let's do this. <laughs> I love the facial expressions. It's boring, okay. Very boring, full of rubbish. Talking about murdering girl. That wasn't me talking about it, that was a caller. I'm innocent here, man. Yeah, killed with a nail gun, that wasn't me. Don't blame me for that. Hey you, the creator. The video sucked. <laughs> Giving out your phone number is a great idea. Why? Giving it to trolls like me to prank you. Especially sending to me. And then I will poke fun at you. Well, go ahead. Lots of monotone. I'm not monotone, am I? Where's the dating and the porno? I was hoping for a stripper on a pool dancing or something. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's pause that. Can we just appreciate now that this guy has pretty much just taught all of us and everybody watching this video how to do the sign language for a stripper on a pole dancing. And that's, that's worth it alone. Let's watch that again. Pole dancing. <laughs> uh, 
I mean, the point of the spider. It's a channel about tarantulas. That's the point of the spiders. Holy shit. Overall, what is this shit and the shit of this? It you, add captions directly, not YouTube automatic generator. <laughs> and this is definitely going to be in the thumbnail. I love it. Awesome. So this guy obviously didn't think I'm the coolest guy in the world and took time out of his day to film himself roasting me via sign language. Epic. Uh, does your channel get people roasting you in sign language? If not, maybe you should rethink what you're doing because this is what it's all about. And uh, can everybody please just thank this guy for teaching us all how to say uh, pole, stripper pole. That was worth it. All right, so quickly, let's take a closer look at one of these masks. Check it out. Um, this was the cheapest of the masks. I found it on eBay. It was used. Someone was selling it. And honestly, it might be my favorite. It definitely isn't the best paint job. It isn't the highest quality mask I have, but for some reason it just fits my face the best. Why do I pay all this money for these masks? If you were to make a horror movie, normally what you would do is take silicone prosthetics, like a silicone prosthetic nose, and you would take you know, hours sometimes to attach that silicone prosthetic nose to an actor's face. You would take a silicone prosthetic chin and attach that to the actor's face. Sometimes that can take hours and hours. Then you have to hire a professional painter to come along and paint all these little gory details, right? All these little veins. And that takes an incredibly skilled person and an insane amount of time. Some people sit in the makeup chair for hours and hours and hours, six, eight, ten hours in order to look like this to go film. Well, if you're a low budget filmmaker working on films that are cheap and no budget, you can't ask your actors to do that. I also don't know any special effects makeup artists that are willing to put on prosthetics like this. So this is kind of the next best thing in the low budget filmmaking world. So a mask like this, this was $500. I found it actually cheaper on eBay. Um, but the beauty of this is that it's made of the same material, it's still silicone, it still looks pretty amazing, it still shoots really well on film, but you don't have to have your actor sit in a chair. This mask can just be put on and off like a regular Halloween mask and they can show up on set and you save a ton of time and you save a ton of money and it still looks pretty damn good. But make no mistakes, this is not your average Halloween mask. Halloween masks are usually made out of latex and they're usually made to be much bigger than an actual head so you could just slide it right over. These silicone masks are made to be smaller than a human head. That way it really hugs your face. And this silicone, I wish you could feel it, it's really heavy and really flesh-like. It really feels like real skin. And this silicone is so tight on your face and so thin in some of these areas of the mask that it actually moves with your face. So why don't we just put one on? The hardest part of owning these silicone masks is getting them on and off of these damn head forms. Ah! Call that the crotch maneuver. It's the best way to do it. So here's just the head form. All right, well, this is gonna mess up my hair. I hope you're happy. And there's also an art to getting these on as well. You put both hands in there, and you kind of open it up like you're giving birth to something or helping birth something. And then, And you can tuck everything down inside here. But check that out. You see it fits so tightly around the mouth and the lips are so thin that it almost kind of holds onto them and your whole mouth moves. All the silicone moves with your body. So if you'd like this correctly, and put a little bit of shadows in the eyes, then you can't really see that gap there. You can't really see the difference in tone. You can even apply a little bit of makeup also. You could put in fake teeth. <laughs> but pretty amazing, right? <sighs> Welcome to my channel. If you're still watching this, you're up. <laughs> don't forget to like and comment and subscribe. And please don't forget, now you can text the hate line. It's 833-246-HATE or 833-246-4283. Text, leave me a voice message, and I will see you in the next one. <sighs>